Anytime that I got a, even a tiny bit cold, my mom was always making us albondiga soup. And I still beg her to this day to make me some. When you talk about happiness or things that make you feel good, this is one of those dishes. Just remembering someone through food, this is a big element of that. It's comfort food at its finest right here. Cocina Chihuahuas is a way for us to kind of be more playful about food. Cocina, reference to kitchen. Um, Chihuahuas is, you know, so people recognize exactly where it's coming from. But the idea is you're coming to our house, right? You're coming to our kitchen. So our whole narrative is like, we're gonna give you the best that we can that comes out of our house. You know, everybody that comes here, we treat in that same sense of family, that you come to my house and, and it's, it's one of those hospitality things that we want to nourish you the best way that we can. And Cocina, I think, also kind of allows us to take on traditions of our own. Hopefully, as, as kind of like our grandma passed down certain aspects of, of her cooking and, her, and, and Nadia's grandma did as well. Now we're creating some that are our own that we can pass down to our daughter. And to us, that's part of it being very special. Cul-de-sac as an overall idea is significantly different than what I'm accustomed to. I think the sense of community that comes from building into a place that's going to have residents that are tied to the overall group, is it's number one different. When, when you get people who are excited about creating something that's unique and special, you kind of either, you know, believe it or you don't. The cul-de-sac team has done a really good job in kind of demonstrating that, that it's real. Cul-de-sac came in and made promises and Cul-de-Sac was one of the first ones that their people followed through, right? They told me, we're going to do this for you. And they did. They made the transition very easy from understanding what the plans were going to be. Being able to grow and, and, and giving us space like this is amazing, right? It's just, it's the opportunity that everybody wishes they had. I love and respect food in general, right? I romanticize that element of it, always have. It's one of those things where we all in the world as a whole have one thing in very much common as we all eat, right? And it's a very easy kind of transition, you know, to get to know other people. And it has very big ties to your community. And I think food in it as a whole is just one of those things that no matter where you go in the world, you know, it's, it's a relevant piece to kind of talk about.